give thanks. Give thanks. Give thanks and praise to the mystic laws of the universe and its protective functions, forces in nature that guide our thoughts and our thoughts in our ways that are lawful, correct, and positive. Give thanks and praise to God. Be the glory. Yeah. I must first say salute out there. Salute out there. Kate of Kia. Share this information before, but I'm going to share my breakdown or aspect or how I want to construct this thing. Basic. I will just add this to whatever else we are doing. Yeah, man, just organize it and add it to all that information. So it's a Vienna Convention on the Laws of Treaties, 1969. And we have the area where you can find it. When you hear treaty, treaties are synonymous with contract. Treaty or contract. Very same thing. It's a Clausula Rebot 6 Tanki Bus. As it pertains to the infant birth bond issued by the infant birth trust contract or treaty, here and after spelled as C R S S or in full, commonly referred to as escape clause. Now, in a, you're going to find the escape clause in an article. 62 at the Vienna Convention on the Laws of Treaty. It's a fundamental change of circumstances. One, a fundamental change of circumstances which has occurred regarding those existing at the time of the conclusion of the treaty and which was not foreseen by the parties may not be invoked as a ground of terminating or withdrawing from the treaty or contract unless. A, the existence of those circumstances constitute an essential bias of the consent of the parties to be bound by the treaty or contract. Um, you know, our contract is a my thing. Yeah. So B says the effect of the change, all right. Circumstances constituting an essential bias of the consent. Now, when I'm said bias of consent is only because consent supposed to be free. You know what I mean? Knowingly and willingly and freely agreeing. You know what I mean? That's what consent is to agree. To contract. Yeah, man. And if these guys compel you to perform, then there is no consent. Yeah, man. So, again, A said the existence of those circumstances constitute an essential bias of the consent of the parties. To be bound by the treaty or contract. And them said parties, you know, through them in our corporate or a statutory or a legal capacity. This is their narrative. Them not said the man or woman. You understand? Yeah, because them fictional. Them was said male or female, not man or woman. So, number B said the effect. Of the change is radically to transform the extent of obligation still to be performed under the treaty. So the extent of the change is radically meaning the change the, the change was so radical to transform the extent 
yeah man radically to transform the extent of the obligation or the extent of the promise now we're we'll gonna touch upon the glossolary bus six tanti bus crss is essentially and fundamentally purposed meaning designed as an escape clause that makes an exception to the general rule of pacta sunt serve under meaning promise must be kept thus removing all prior and previous assumptions or presumptions by all parties legal or otherwise to the contrary where the fraud is revealed i'm going to tell you what the fraud is now plus glossolary bus sextantibus latin meaning latin for things thus standing like whatever system is in place put it that way things are standing is a legal doctrine allowing for treaties or contracts to be inapplicable non pro tonque where any and all fraud revealed renders all contract null and void ab initio ad infinitum non pro tonque tonque pro non now for then, then for now. That's what it is right there, you know. Eliminating all time period relating to the contract exists tense in the first place. So it does say, uh, once fraud is revealed, the contract is no more good done just like the notice of recognizance contract what i'm giving where i can reveal the fraud only because there's no disclosure i mean so we're gonna break it down Eliminating all time period relating to the contract existence in the first place because of a fundamental change of circumstances. Whereas, A, without full, open, and complete disclosure, the foreign crown agencies compel performance requirement by the unlawful use of the birth registration, legal name, title. Uh, that's the word, is the title. Legal name, title which is a fictional person, which is a fictional meaning, artificial meaning, non-real, non-existent person, a person that exists only on paper. So this fictional person is a birth registration form. And that piece of paper within the legal construct is deemed a person, just a piece of paper that was intentionally created as a prepaid surety or insurance to facilitate and accommodate the removal of gold and silver from the economic system, replacing gold and silver with negotiable instruments. And all of this happened in 1933, which is self-evident by the birth registration form. Come on. And B now said, without full, dis full, open, and complete disclosure, the foreign crown agency seeking to access the birth trust account. So this is what I'm really wanting. The access I'm really wanting. You know? Access to the birth trust account. So the Crown Agency seeking access to the Bird Trust account issues 
time you say it, you know. The notice of recognizance, bond, where two separate and distinct persons appear upon the instrument, i.e., one, a prisoner, and two, surety, is evident of silent deception and inducement to participate unlawfully using the birth registration name, legal title, and joining the man to the fiction is in fact the perpetuation of fraud by the foreign crown agency and its agents. The intent to commit aid and abet fraud falls clearly on all foreign crown agencies perpetuating, perpetuating this birth registration fraud. Typically, anywhere anyone is being forced by foreign crown agents to enlist, subject, or impress into service unwillingly or unknowingly, putting their offspring's estate through foreign crown registrations of all forms ab initio until dissolved or remain intact willingly by all who continue to, to be guilty of their own fraud by will, willfully using the birth registration legal name title after the fact, where fraud absolute is self-evident, where this birth registration fraud is in plain view, plain view. Everybody can see, but then the no fair expression. Now in the comprehensive sense of the definitions of one who was formally deceived by the use of the legal name title, where it is now known to be fraud and where the one invoking this clause, which is the estate clause, no longer wishes to commit legal name fraud nor any crimes against another whatsoever, while removing all traces of the former legal person from there and everyone else's it has the existence, regardless of the aiding and abetting attempt of silent deception and inducement to participate in the fraud without full open and complete disclosure by the various foreign crown agents to elicit, force, demand, coerce, etc. All who have stated and shown otherwise. Hereafter, since this is our last act, so we have this little information all put together. Uh, without information, we're not going to know it. Without knowing what's going on, we can't go know it. Without the knowledge of what's happening, and, you know, we we'll find, you know, so the narrative to express it. Then it's business as usual. And this is where Satan like, Satan like business as usual, the demonic force out there, like the business as usual, where you do not challenge nothing, you do not quest nothing. They just make an accusation and you should just submit to their accusation. They want to compel you to perform without giving you full, open and complete disclosure of whatever treaty, contract or agreement that is in place. Once there's a contract, there has to be meeting of the minds. So this is why I wanna mind when, you know, we get the opportunity to look at these kind of information. So we can present these kind of information. Because for some reason, our local island public authority seems to be incompetent truly irrespective of whether my try to put himself to be because you have what is lawful in the earth law and then you have what is legal 
Illegality requires consent. Illegality is separate and distinct from what is law. Illegality is only statutory legal standard alternatively used as rules or regulations. Those do not constitute law. Now we are discover uh, the only true law what we can talk about is the law of nature deriving from the most high creator. And if we ever talk about a book of law, then we have to look to the Bible, which is a universal book. Universal mean common. Everybody have that information in all variations. Yeah, man. So if we are talking about law, we no could deal with biblical law. We can look and say, do not trespass. We can see all kind of things in there. Opposed to this legal standard where some politicians were twisted. I will create some kind of twisted legal standard as rules and regulation and subject of people to it. We in our grief. We have too much politicians where is sodomite. Yeah, them are sodomite. I don't know if you know the definition of sodomite. It doesn't necessarily mean girl and girl. Sodomite. Or we derived from the boogery where the man and man is concerned. That's it, that deal with. So they are them of a, you know, choose to apply themselves. So when we use certain words, we use it impeccably, irrespective of the reader's intent. Got to read that one. Did I say? Read or say what they want to say. And then I have a problem. I use word wizardry to interpret whatever they're reading according to their legal standard. So we as a people have to choose that. Apply yourself and you no know, present yourself out there. Too much people are in hiding. This is why you see the devil loves. When we say wrong, we stay silent. This is why the devil loves. Just like all mother in our community, and we are trying to maintain, and then all of a sudden, some demonic entity does manifest itself. How oh, you know it's demonic? Because it's a perpetuate filth. And when it gets here, the place never have those kind of filth. You understand? Now when them there are now wanna perpetuate the filth, that's where create change. And now your place not clean. When a man such as I we address it, we have some ungodly lunatic of unsound mind. As on stage news media would call these kind of people. You know? Kerosene and Krasmite. I like that word. On the bridge, we call them Krasmite. Yeah, we have to find the definition for that. But this is what some of these female are. They are not women. They have degraded themselves from being women. And these chrasmites are at the root of 95% criminal activity that's taking place. Ask most convicted prisoners. What was your motivation to do what you did? And at the root of that motivation, you find some kind of kerosene, chrasmite type of filth, guising themselves as women in the earth. So 
So we have to be mindful. So watch ya. And not just one sex. And not just when you see the man go on with himself. The man is motivated by, you know, the charismatic. I may have a lady where, under no circumstance, she would have encouraged me to do nothing wrong out there. She loved me so much, she didn't want to get in on a problem. But it's a total opposite for the cross mind female out there. The one them what we call nasty girl them. Especially the convicted type. The one them who spend time locked up. Robbing crotch. They'll never admit these things. Because if you are a bum now and can't find the basics, you will be locked up. You have to depend upon these other but or a dike to your existence or subsistence. So me I say man out there. Protect your energy. Don't let them weaken you. Don't let them spoil you with them lascivious conduct and behavior. Yeah man. Man choose your woman. Man choose your wife. Common law type, not no go license no with the state or register with the state. When you have your common law union, it's you, your mate, or your life partner, and the creator. That's it. Now, when you put licensing and registration to it, that, that's when you are invite Satan. And when Satan come in, then the government can claim jurisdiction because Satan have an interest. This is why we now register nothing with a foreign crown state. And we are not supposed to. We are no slave to no paper or no foreign crown state or no foreign crown agents. Uh, even when you see the politician here on the island and them are claimed to be Jamaican, some of them look just like we. You have to know say, them pledge them allegiance to a foreign crown state, making them a foreign crown agent, making them foreign to us. Do not let these people fool you. This is why the common people can complain all they want. They can talk all they want. They can say all oh, the it is the want against any one of these political entities and there will be no change. They will remain slave and foreign people will always have a tourist invitation to migrate from their foreign location and set up shop here on this island. Only because our people are sluggard, who chose to reject truth, to choose to reject correct knowledge. Now, we the people will have to suffer the consequences of our own actions. When we're looking at the Bible, a place not the Bible said, My people, which is a Mosai, a chant, I said, My people suffer because they reject truth and knowledge. Because they reject truth and knowledge, then truth and knowledge that are turned away from them. Simple as that. So this is an escape clause from any country. Once the circumstances change, then it's reason to dissolve. Well, how much circumstance change it make it null and void, simple. You have to just present it and then run these people. That's all it is, as I keep saying, you know. These people are, you know, some parasitic sodomites. Yeah, don't just use the word and assume the definition. You look it up. And again, when you say the police here on the island, 
is a foreign crown agent. Don't let them fool you. Yeah, all when your father were police, your father pledged allegiance to a foreign crown. So if the foreign crown said decimate your own family, you have some would do just that. While others will say, hey, forget about that. This is why I'm talking about the righteous police. The righteous soldier. The righteous states man out there. We burn the untidy politician. One of the things I'm find amazing is that all of these politicians, most when them start uh, back in the days, wealthy people not getting at these things. So when these little Mickey Mouse politicians will come out of board house and run down community, get in an office, within five years they say them wealthy as mess. Why people don't do a forensic audit? Are these people financial, you know, say, you know, activities out there. Cause I'm have a birth certificate, any work for them do, you know what I mean? It's documented somewhere. So any side money where them have, like when Andrew Holiness a bill up and a bill up and a bill up, do a forensic audit and so when get them in for me, get them money from any and all politician. This is why I don't like the mimicry where them play in you know, the public. You can't have a fox who love chicken and hens to guard the chicken and the hen house. Or if you have a, it's like you have a thief in the treasury, a secure the bank. And everybody there is thief. When people come and say they want them substance, there's nothing there. Most of these so-called politicians, before they are any one of those things, they are man first. And we know, given the right situation or the right pressure, all men are fallible. Or if a man attack for uprightness and justice and some devil people kidnapping family and say, stop that, usually the man just stop that, our family life is more important. And this very same analogy go for most of these sellouts. Because you sell out and sign a blood oath, you never can talk the truth. It's like a motor baroka perpetually. In mafia talk about Africa and going back to Africa. And everybody is African. Yet this man visit Africa a plethora of times. And no African country or African people can cheat this man in Africa. Why is that? Yet, Mota and his other Pan-African flunkies keep advocating for Africa. People, that is the salam. They are getting wealthy doing that. Amassing all kind of legacy doing that. This is why we say fire burn. Yeah, man. Fire burn. Anyway, quick pass through, information share, keep it going, keep the fire burning out there, free people. Look it up, Vienna Convention on the Law of Treaties, 1969. We are dealing with Article 62, Fundamental Change of Circumstances, which provide an escape. It has a, an escape to any kind of formal or agreement, contractually or otherwise. Once the circumstances change from what was in the origin, then we can invoke this escape clause and proceed accordingly. Our people upon the island, yeah, they're going to purport themselves to be bright, but I'm far removed from it. Because they are conditioned to operate in a specific way. This is why a policy enforcer will easily say, I'm just doing my job. You understand? And others will, will say, it's the law. And all you have to ask, which law? Private or public? Statutory? 
law or divine law? Which is it? Be specific. Your generalization facilitate fraudulent conduct. So let's, you know, keep the fire burning out there. Again, gratitude, free people, salute, subscribers. Again, over here, so, you know, grassroots. And come over here, so with your dunce, mess. Come with an open mind. Totally receptive to learning. This is what we do, share information. So the ones that will have interest. Them choose to go apply themselves. Yeah, man. We are that light here. This is why we chant Nestorian King. Sovereign man. Guys like Mota. And him twisted friend them. Uh, Mota bring a sissy. A gay psychologist on him platform. But you know, a couple years ago. Same a uh, rebut. A man like I, with a little twisted so-called psychologist. And this is the whole, it, it, that's a sum total of these people. I'm selling out a long time ago, and in order for maintain them little dividends coming from them foreign donkeys, them have to perpetuate this. Back to African narrative. I assure the item says so not a group thing, you know. Because every man we have in our group, they might find themselves with some bird certificate or some number, which is the mark for the beast, my people. You cannot function or operate without a number or without a name. And the name is that legal. Name title, yeah, man, from the birth registration. Notice we talk about the infant birth bond issued by the infant birth trust, which are contracts or treaties. Now, if we are wrong in our presumptions, then foreign crown. Agency, you may cure our ignorance. That is it. 